Hey, welcome back to Ben's Bearded. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you about refined heretic. Refined, elegant in appearance, manner, or taste. Heretic. Someone that holds an opinion against what is typically portrayed or believed. So they sent me three products. One oil and two soaps. So the first soap I'm going to talk about is actually called the Skate and Scrub Body Bar. And it looks like this. It's actually named after the Treasure Valley Roller Girls out in Boise, Idaho. So that's what it looks like. So it's a lavender and cedar wood scent. Um, and that's what you see up top there. The black is the activated charcoal. So it's detoxifying for the skin, but also very natural. Um, so one, one warning though, when you use this in the shower, um, the black on top, I've used more than half of this already, that's why it's worn down. The black on top, if you have like a white shower tile or one of those, you know, bath finish um, one panel ideas, um, regardless, the black, the charcoal in there, it's just it's gonna leave black marks. So once it gets wet, you're just gonna see like drip marks of black and stuff like that. So if that bothers you, don't get it. Um, if, Cause you're just gonna have to clean your shower a lot. But that's part of having natural products, you know, especially the activated charcoal, excellent for your skin, very dirty looking. So, you know, I use this and once I got out of the shower, it was just like black drip marks. And, you know, it rinses off easy. It doesn't leave, you know, stains or anything like that, but just a warning for using this. Well worth it to me because I love the smell. I love using natural soap. I don't feel bad about using it for my kids or my whole family or whatever. So, but I used it as a beard wash. You know, I have a short beard now. Um, I use it head to toe, so feel free to use that. But excellent soap, well made. Um, it's not slippery. You know, some of the glycerin soaps can be super slick and just kind of fly out of your hand, but it smells good. The activated charcoal is great for your skin, um, and the lavender and cedarwood scent is, is really cool. So check it out. Right, so next, this is the soap that I've smelled, I have not used yet, because um, I'm still using the other one, but I've smelled it. It's called Pipe and pancake. Now it's a tobacco bay leaf beard and body soap. Now it smells great. I'm excited to use it. Um, it's a smaller one because it's probably a sample of it. Um, but so I'm not sure how long it'll last. I'm going to try to make it last as long as I can because um, I have a feeling this is going to smell really good and really lather up well. I'm excited to use it, especially with the tobacco bay leaf. I can smell it through it. But I'm sure once I use it and I get the paper off and everything else, it's going to smell really good. So um, I have a number of natural soaps I'm going to be trying, but this is one of them. Tobacco and bay leaf, so it's probably going to smell a whole lot like a pipe smoke and pirate blend. And I mean, who doesn't love that? If you love pirate blends and you love tobacco, um, this is going to be great. It's got a um, saponified olive, coconut caster, avocado, and almond oils. And that's the same essential oil blend that they put in the other soap too. So it seems like all of their soaps, at least the ones that I have here, have that same blend of the saponified olive, coconut, castor, avocado, and almond oils. So again, if you have a nut allergy, um, these have almond oils in them, so you might want to test a small portion of your skin first before you use it head to toe. Just saying. Now the oil they sent is well, what they've said is one of their best sellers, and I believe it. Um, beaver Pleaser Beard Nectar. Sure to please your beaver. Now when I think of that, I don't think of my beard, but um, Refined Heretic Beard and Body Company contains sweet almond, grapeseed, jojoba, avocado, and argan oils, essential oils, and dope stuff. Not going to say what it actually says. Um, essential oils. So the essential oils are tea tree, lavender, and frankincense. really interesting it's a really interesting smell if you like tea tree you get, I definitely get the tea tree um, and the lavender the frankincense is almost like hiding in the background it's an undertone um, but it's there but it's not strong like other frankincense ones you th you think of like patchouli frankincense just like in your face intense incense type smell you know strong so it's probably one of the lesser used essential oils in there but it's it's really good um, and you get all three mainly the tea tree um, and the lavender and again that frankincense just kind of adds that subtle spice in there underneath and I really like that so I like this one I'm um, really happy you guys sent it 
see what else it says on here. Yeah. And a dark amber bottle. Um, again, it is pretty light in weight and color. So it's pretty colorless um, and uh, pretty light. So it'll be good for, you know, not great for hold because it's not a really thick oil, but I don't really need the thick oil. Um, I like the lighter ones anyway that emulsify, and this one definitely does pretty quickly. Um, I like the smell and uh, yeah, and the color of this is good for people that have white beards. So again, check it out. Really enjoyed this smell. They have other oils up on the website. I'll put the website below if you want to check out what else they got. So check it out. I think that does it for Refined Heretic. So um, thank you for sending it. Appreciate it. Really enjoyed the products. Love the natural soaps. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to review a bunch more um, in the future, but um, probably not anytime soon because I'll be super busy. But I am enjoying natural soaps. I'm glad you guys sent those along with the oil. You're one of the few companies that has sent a natural soap to, and you're actually one of the few companies that I've encountered that actually does both. So I um, really enjoy that. They also have tattoo care on there. They have things just for the girls on the website. So, you know, it's not just for us guys with beards. They have other things for other people. So um, I really appreciate that as well. You know, I don't need a whole lot of beard oil and beard balm with this length. I do enjoy, I still put it in oil every day. Um, I still use the balms that I have and everything else like that because I still enjoy the smells and soft skin and everything like that. So it's a myth that you have to have a super, super long beard to use the products guys who have scruff all the way down to like a three-year doesn't matter use what you got put it in there don't let anybody tell you like oh you gotta have a super long beard stuff to be legitimate or whatever I don't care um, I just did this for fun and I like this so and for those of you who probably noticed it's shorter if you want to know why if you care um, it's uh, I had to have headshots done for work so I had to look clean and presentable and refined, refined heretic, uh, look good for that. So that's why I had to trim down. I actually like it this short. Uh, I usually, if before I did beer reviews and grew it out and all this other stuff, this is the length I usually kept it at um, full time. I haven't had like a clean shaven face in years, but I keep it this length um, for work. And I had to, again, had to have headshots done for work. Um, so that's why I had to trim it down because uh, that's important. And I have grad school coming up. I'm taking grad school, teaching grad school, teaching self-defense, speaking to church, working full-time, all that other stuff, dad, husband, you know, all the stuff that comes along with being a man. So um, this will probably be the, one of the few reviews I do um, in the upcoming week. I'm trying to get them all done because uh, I'm not going to be doing them for a while because I'm going to be way too busy. So that's why.